For the first time since March of 2020, Gabe and Debbie Herrera have ventured out from their home in Stockton. So this is exciting. It's a beautiful day. It's right before Easter. Fully vaccinated, the pair stopped at Intercoastal Winery in Lodi for wine tasting. It so happens the pair was also on the Grand Princess cruise ship, the first ship at the epicenter of the U.S. COVID outbreak. Today, a much different time. Enjoying the day which uh, we haven't been able to do for uh, quite a while. So we have a Pinot Grigio. For winery owner Rochelle Spoletta, a boon in tourism can't come soon enough. Her family closed on the winery last April. So far, they are surviving with 13 varieties of wine, an online business, and tasting outdoors. We're hopeful, we're staying positive and encouraging people to come out. We're super busy on the weekends where everybody's enjoying this outdoor space. In 2018, Lodi Tourism had nearly 1 million visitors who spent $211 million. No numbers are available for the losses during the pandemic, but Lodi is poised for a comeback. Our wineries and our hotels and our restaurants have done a phenomenal job of being open in a way that allows travel safely. But of course, what continues to hold up tourism here are the ongoing COVID restrictions and especially being stuck in the purple tier. Our case rate um, is still a little bit higher than any of us want, but our testing positivity and our health equity positivity rates are really into the orange tier. For now, it's all outdoors, but Lodi's 85 area wineries hope soon they'll be toasting indoors too.